Here we go. It's time for another sprint zone. This one's for 10-3, 2023. Yeah, I know the screen says 10-4, but I was in a hurry and didn't want to go back and re-render this. Anyway, the group's looking pretty good, and it's a good-sized crew of maybe about 20, and we're heading towards the the pothole section. And everyone's pointing those out, and this is why everyone's a little bit all over the road, because those potholes are nasty, and we don't want to be caught in them, and people kind of spread out. Looking rearward, everyone looks reasonably well. People are jocular. There's there's banter going on as it's time to prepare for the sprint zone. And we see in the back, we see B-Train, a.k.a. Byron Besserol, swinging around to the rear to join us after leaving the TTH group. And everyone looks, looks pretty ordered here, and I really like that green jersey that Isla's wearing. She doesn't wear it often, or isn't often in front of me for the camera, but that um, Fort Collins cycling team jersey really looks good on her. In any case, I digress for a little bit, and we look at strong men, and I'd like to thank Dr. John Kraft for his telemetry, and there'll be a reason I'm showing that, and it is most impressive but we'll get to that later. All right, here's the prospect zone and everyone is slowing down appropriately. We see Dean up front looking strong in the red, making the corner. Little truck slides up next to us a little faster than he needed to. I wouldn't wanna be the guy working on his brakes, but I digress. Anyway, make the corner and there's already a little separation from the people back there that weren't looking to be in close contact and this is always dangerous because you never know when someone's going to hot it up and you waste a lot of wattage just trying to stay in contact. In this case, looks like Greg Cooch is up front, keeping everybody honest and looking at my wattage for at least for 30 seconds, which I have at the bottom, along with Dr. John's. It's not too bad. Instantaneous in the 140s, so it's not that bad, but the speed is good. You know, 20 miles an hour. And on this day, there really wasn't that much wind. So it was like a perfect day. And I believe it looks like Marcelo at the front now who has taken up the mantle. And that's good. I really like to see people up front doing a lot of work early to keep things honest. Because I really like to see a selection at some point. Because the group is strong enough that pretty much everyone here can just sit in. And we need some people that are willing to animate things. Looking at Dr. John, a.k.a. JC, he's looking strong and focused. He's got a good wheel, that being mine. And everyone is pretty much in line here, which really demonstrates that there isn't that much wind. Most of the people are in the bike lane, but there's plenty of room. And it's one of the reasons I like this route because there's not that much traffic, but here we go. There's the big attack by JC, and look at that instantaneous wattage, over 800 watts. And Scott is reasonably quick to chase, but I think the commitment wasn't really there, and you saw the gap there. So looking at um, JC's 30 second power at below, 500 watts and climbing. This is a serious attack, and there are strong men that didn't see the danger except one man. There he is, B-Train, going on the front to help drag these people back. And now things are, are hotting up. So we're looking at my 30 second wattage down below. So in the 230s, and I'm sitting in, and this is above my FTP. So basically I am starting to go anaerobic. Although I must admit that my Garmin tells me after all these rides, I have like zero anaerobic benefit. And I'll believe that because I normally don't like sprint hard, and so, or at least enough of those to make a difference. But I digress. Anyway, B-Train on his gravel bike now. I wish he kind of had the um, gun, so to speak, and not the knife, but it's okay. But when you got someone strong like JC up there the road, you're going to need all the weaponry you can get to pull him back. People looking good back there. I'm looking at uh, John behind me, and I don't know what kit that is but it doesn't actually fit that nicely. Look around the shoulders there. That's probably a few watts being bled off where some of the other riders, and you know, a good example, we'll see Curtis in front of me and B-Train in front of, of him. The, the kit fits nice and snug. 
and you can see there's a little bit of coasting back there as we get downhill but my wattage in the 200s and for this stretch this can be challenging and especially those little grades where you know the water has to come up and you can feel the lactic acid searing through your legs anyway we can see that it looks like jc is up the road and scott is also up the road but scott did not make contact and he's out in no man's land and that's kind of unfortunate and it wasn't like he was going cowboy it was that he didn't commit soon enough and when you see the strong men like that you got to jump on it and blow some serious wattage. I didn't get his power this week, so I don't know how much he was throwing down to try to catch JC, but that 800 watts that JC put out, you know, I'm not certain that there are many people that could have stuck with that in this group. There's a few, B-Train being one of them. Anyway, we are starting to reel people in slowly, and you can see, I believe Scott has given up the ghost, or at least he should have, because what you really want to do at this point is, Keep up an honest speed, but try to save a little something because when the train goes by, you need to have a ticket. And if you don't have a ticket to ride, it is not pleasant having to hoof it on your own. So I go to the front a little bit just for a few seconds to give B Train a little bit of a break here. And he's, he's saying, hey, just keep it easy, keep it easy, keep it easy. And maybe those few milliseconds helped him out a little bit. Probably didn't really help me that much because my 30 second water is now up to 250, but it's good. But I want to work. I don't want to be the kind of person that just sits in and goes for it at the end. Uh, um, I'm mostly fast twitch, so I don't really work on my anaerobic stuff, and I probably should. You know, I've always been a sprinter, was in junior high, um, actually had an almost undefeated season. Um, but it isn't about me, it's about what the group is doing right now. Anyway, everybody is together, and there goes Wolfgang, and that little riser, that caused a lot of wattage. You can see my 30-second wattage, you know, 340, so that's pretty strong there, and people are starting to get strong out here. We got Ben Miller ahead of, of B-Train, going to go bring back these people, and it looks like JC is up the road still. And it's kind of interesting, like, talking to JC afterwards, basically... This was just something to animate the group, and he kind of shut it down halfway through because he's got to lead a Zwift ride after this one, and so he just wanted to make certain that things were animated and probably wanted some camera time because it's good to get camera time. You don't want to be one of the unknown people that I never, ever get to mention. Anyway, looking rearward, there's the chase pack as I have been dispatched from the group up front, and I'm keeping up a reasonable wattage, as you can see, but not going so hard as to blow myself up. Looks like Wolfgang's in no man's land. B-Train's in no man's land. Looks like we're coming up on JC. Looks like Mr. Miller is off the front on this one. And here we go. Greg looking good. Tony looking good. Marcelo looking good. Curtis looking good. We got Mark looking good. Other Mark looking good. Dean for once has actually not blown himself up and is in the mix and he is a danger man when you got someone with that kind of horsepower that can throw it down everybody's happy and there goes greg i believe he has done his turn thank you for your service got mr Weeda there it looks like swinging at the rear but he is still hanging on and when you got a group this big they push enough air that thank you mr lawyer for your service they push enough air that i can get back on and it's not horrible. Looking at my 30 second wattage, still pretty high, you know, in the 270s, and I have made contact. And this is a really well organized and super strong chase group. We got B Train, Scott, Wolfgang, John, Dean, a very, very, very strong contingent here. And I'm impressed. I am impressed. And there's a chance that we're gonna bring back the strong men. Uh, I think that if JC wanted to, he could have stayed off the front. But as I stated before, he is just going pretty easy. And looking at his power, and I know his FTP is much higher than what he's throwing down. So he's basically like, yeah, did my did my, did my job as a domestique. But Mr. Miller is up the road, and now we are in a hot pursuit of him. Everybody working hard. Even when you see B-Train sitting back, you know, you know it's hard. And, and here we go. 
there is going to be another selection here as the final push because if we don't go now it is too late and that was a well timed attack by mr miller he was sitting in and no one really recognized his strength and here we go final push and you, you see how close it was. Like, JC, there he is, could have easily stayed on, but he's resting. Dean, a nice attack. And this is the time to actually, like, go hard. And I believe he even has B-Train in a little bit of trouble. We got Curtis looking really strong there, and me barely hanging on. And I'm just happy to be in this company, in this crew, and to have the camera close enough that I didn't really even need Scott's footage today. There goes Tony, and we come to the top of the hill. Nice congratulations from B-Train to Dean. Well played, Dean. Well played. You know, I always knew you had it in you. And to see you use your strength, you know, in a proper way, that was impressive. Love to see that. Don't do it again. No, just kidding. That was good. That was, that was really good. I see people are learning. They're getting organized. And it's been a lot of fun. What can I say? So congratulations to Mr. Miller for winning that one. Nice work, JC. You looked really strong out there. That was impressive. B-Train, super nice pull on that gravel bike. And I think a good time was in fact had by all. Here we go, gonna make this little U-turn. Slightly sketchy, but uh, we're behind the truck, so it's all good. Here's a shot of B-Train, got Marcelo. That was, that was pretty good. I really enjoyed that. So until next time, peace out, everyone. Bye.